The original idea was to have a marketplace, and it's still the idea, in fact, to have a marketplace for the travel industry to come together and conduct business. So the most business around the world for the travel industry is done at World Travel Market. Last year we had £1.139 million worth of business conducted at World Travel Market, and we spoke to our buyers in September this year, and they said that they would do even more business at World Travel Market this year. So the idea behind World Travel Market is to, for the industry to come together to conduct business and uh, also find out the latest trends and analysis of the sector so they can go back to their businesses and then learn and kind of you know, develop their strategies to take their businesses forward. Highlights of this year as well, we've had a new sports pavilion. Sports tourism is a major new trend within the industry. So we've got a new sports pavilion and a sports conference that's taken place this year. We've also had the Minister Summit today where you've seen the largest collection of ministers get together to, you know, to discuss the industry and discuss what uh, direction they're going to take it forward. We've also had a new industry report that we launched earlier this year, which is an analysis of the industry as well as consumers. So we've really kind of got a real cross-section of what the world's travel industry is thinking. And then on Thursday, we have the Business Day, where we have Lord Digby Jones, who's one of the leading uh, business speakers in the world, coming to um, advise the small and medium-sized companies of the travel industry, of which there are so many, how they can prosper in this kind of post-recession downturn time. Together, all told, there will be more than 150 ministers and aides from around 60 uh, countries all coming together. Some of the major tourism industries. A couple of new examples of ministers that have come this year include China, which is one of the uh, growing powers as far as tourism is concerned, and Iraq, which World Travel Market is predicting to be a tourism hotspot over the next 10 or, or 20 years or so. As far as the show itself, there's more than 5,000 exhibitors taking place, and all told throughout the four days, we will have around 50,000 participants. I think you've seen uh, throughout the two days so far at World Travel Market, there is cautious optimism as far as the travel industry is concerned. I mentioned earlier about the amount of business that was done last year and the, the amount of business that's predicted will be done this year. And I think that shows that the industry believes that you know, it's got quite a strong future and, uh, and should bounce back well from the, from the downturn. There'll obviously be some issues. We've talked a lot in the Minister's Summit today about APD and, and air passenger duty in the UK and why the tax concerns. But on the whole, you know, people want to travel. There's a real... Um, uh, demands from particularly some of the emerging markets of the brick economies of Brazil, Russia, India and China and there's always a, a demand for tourism and for travel from the more established economies such as the UK, Europe and, and North America so I think that the industry has a, as, as I said, a cautiously optimistic future. It's a fascinating market. The Chinese government is now starting to um, sign approved destination status uh, agreements with numerous governments around the world. So that's something that we'll have to watch um, very closely. I think one of the most recent ones was Canada. So I'm sure you'll see lots of inflow traffic, both inbound and, and outbound traffic between, between them two countries. And China is also a very important market as far as the UK is concerned. You only have to go into London and you can see busloads of, of Chinese tourists always um, in London. So. I think it will become a very important market. In our report that we launched earlier this year, we talked a lot about um, China and the Chinese market and why it, why it will become so important. There's, again, as I mentioned, there's this um, real hunger amongst the Chinese people to travel and to experience other cultures and other creeds. So I think we'll see lots of the established tourism companies, particularly those in Europe and the UK, those that have, um, uh, have really been successful in Europe and the UK, moving over to the brick economies and particularly China to try and get a foothold in that market. We don't uh, invite anyone to such. It's because, uh, because they want to come here, because, uh, because of the amount of business that they're able to do here, because of the people that they can negotiate with and the information that they can find out. No, so we're delighted with the Chinese delegation that we've got this year. We're seeing more and more interest from China, just like we are from some of the other BRIC economies as well. India is a perfect example, as is Brazil and, uh, and Russia also. Yeah, we're certainly seeing much more uh, interest from these, from these areas. And uh, yeah, well, I think we'll see that continue throughout the years of World Travel Market, that the uh, Chinese stand space and the number of Chinese participants will just grow and grow. On the Wednesday we have our World Responsible Tourism Day where we look very much at sustainability from the travel industry which is obviously a very important uh, aspect and the, actually I've just come out of the Minister Summit and that's been touched on a lot in the Minister Summit which again is another key theme of ours and on the first day as I already discussed Business Day which obviously is very important as far as helping the small and medium sized uh, travel companies uh, prosper in these post downturn times which again will be quite an important issue as far as China is concerned because I know there's lots of kind of small and medium sized travel companies within China 
theme-wise, the theme of the show is very much about business. It's very much about conducting business and allowing the industry to prosper and conduct and, uh, conduct and conclude deals. So everything that we've done throughout the year working on the show is about to create the correct environment and the best environment for travel companies to meet and sign contracts.